Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Technical Sales for AI here at our headquarters in London. And today we're going to be going over the Q3 and the new front panel and how to use that to configure your outputs, IP address, and set a panel lock. So here we are with the Q3 front panel. And we're going to go through some of the options that you can configure directly from this front panel without going into Windows or AI software. So pressing the menu button, you're greeted with a few different menu options. You can use OK and the arrow keys to navigate between these. So if I go to Output Setup, we'll have a look at this first. So in the Output, you have three different options. The GUI, which is the user interface output, outputs DVI 1 and 2. And here's where you can set a resolution for each of those. So this will actually change the EDID profile that's loaded into the server so that that screen resolution is forced coming out of the box so that you always know what you're sending without any configuration from Windows. Here we can change the refresh rate for a single screen, but typically you don't want to change this because you want to have the same refresh rate across all of your outputs. Whether that's 60 or 50, you want to make sure that you do that for outputs 1, 2, and the GUI. And here we can disable the outputs as well. If I go back to the menu to get back to the root and frame rate setup, this will actually set a global refresh rate for all of our outputs at once. So like I mentioned before, with the possibility of screen tearing, this gets rid of all of that so you can have one refresh rate across all of your outputs. And there's a bunch of standard ones here. If I hit menu, go back, IP setup. This is where we can set the IP address in our server. So you have two network cards in the Q3. You see port 1 and port 2. Currently, I have something connected into Ethernet port 1 that, if you look at there, it's a green 1 gigabit connection. So that's good. That's We want gigabit network when using AI. Here I can select if I want DHCP on or off. And then typically we want it off and set a static IP address for AI. So on the network, it's always on the same IP address. And you have the IP mask as well. Hitting menu, we get back up to the root menu. And the panel lock. So here you can set a four digit code to lock the options of the media server so that nobody can tamper with it while you're away. The headphone menu, this is the headphone level for this front port here, and this is for monitoring purposes. This will not affect the line level audio out to the back, but you can go ahead and adjust for monitoring purposes with the headphone. And finally, system tools. Here you can monitor temperature of your system, uh, see what serial number you have, and test the fans. And most importantly is the wipe all function. So if you're troubleshooting and you want to get back to default 19, 20, 10, 80 pro EDID profiles on all of your outputs, you can hit wipe all. It'll take a few seconds, but that will clear the controller in the front panel and you're left to factory default on this front panel controller. That will not affect the AI software uh, or any of your show files, but just this front panel controller and the EDID management at the back. A couple other things to notice on here are uh, the timecode monitoring. So if you have timecode coming in the back, you can see in real time what that input is. And you have namings for all of your outputs and your server, which you can configure in AI in the output page. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about AI, check out our other videos. And see you guys soon.